Hack Method Game. Why body game is crucial for introverts. I am an introvert myself, guys. I'm not someone that's the life of the party, out in the crowd, out getting a, um, attention and, and trying to do all that. But when the situation calls for it, I can be extrovert. I can definitely socialize with people. I could definitely talk to people, but I'm not the one to be going out of my way to do that. I'm more introverted, especially if you know me personally. I like to keep to myself a lot. Um, I like going to the movies alone. I like going to restaurants alone. I can do anything alone. I don't need to have someone with me. Half the time, I don't want anyone with me. <laughs> That's just how I am. But definitely, I've been working on my being more extroverted when the situation calls for it because honestly i just like being introverted i think that's just that's just how i am created that's how i am but you know of course i try to work on my social skills things like that because i can always improve on that which i have greatly improved because of body game now this video is going to be why body game is crucial for introverts like i just mentioned it's very crucial because as an introvert you're automatically you're more shy you're more reserved people don't really get to know you because you keep to yourself now i'm not speaking for everyone of course but most of the time introverts are more socially awkward just because they keep to themselves half the time they don't really interact with with people and i know because i'm an introvert i'm saying that because i i wasn't the most socially adept person let's just put it like that your aura. So this is why body game is crucial for introverts, right? Because like I just mentioned, since you're more reserved, you're more kept to yourself, you're doing your own thing, you're not involving yourself with the crowd or socializing like that. The aura is a good way to get people to come to you, get people to sense you. When you have body game, when your physique is up to par, when you're jacked, when you're huge, when you got bicep like these, I'm saying uh, no pump, by the way. No, let me stop. But no, for real, bro. If you saying if you are jacked, if you are ripped, if you have some sort of size on you, obviously you can tell you work out, you have nice straps, your physique is aesthetic, you exude masculinity and your presence is felt more. It just is. The embodiment, one of the most masculine thing is actually looking masculine and your physique makes you look masculine girls like max men like masculine men not in that way but I'm, you know what i mean in terms of like looking up to someone that's why do you think superheroes are all jacked why do you think anime characters the main character they're always jacked they're never fat they're never twigs they're always aesthetic now they're not bodybuilder big but they have that athletic look that they're built. They're aesthetically pleasing. You can clearly see that they obviously work out. They obviously are in good shape. Look at every superhero, Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, every superhero that ends in man, anything. They're all, man, they're all ripped. They're all jacked because it exudes masculinity. You can feel the presence when you see, you don't even have to see it. You, you just feel it like, it, it's you know what it is bro you just know what it is so that's another thing if you are introverted and you're not in shape get in shape even if you aren't introverted get in shape anyways i preach this in every video but especially if you're on the more reserved quiet side that you're you can't really talk with people or you struggle in that field this is gonna help you because it's gonna draw people to you anyways in intimidation demands respect now this does not mean be a i can't say this because i don't want to get banned on or blocked or whatever on youtube but it's true intimidation demands respect when people are quote unquote intimidated by you there's a certain level of respect they give you because they're intimidated by you because they feel like you are a threat in a way and they don't want to make you upset or they don't want to get on your bad side now this is just from just basic enough or obviously I'm not, like I said, this is not me to be a complete, just horrible person. Because me, I, it's funny because uh, I think I mentioned this previously, but when I first started working at my job, when I first walked in the first day, 
everyone thought that I was like stuck up, full of myself, uh, super uh, these traits that are not I'm the complete opposite. <laughs> anyone who knows me actually is the, I'm I am not that. I'm the most carefree, chill, relaxed, you know what I mean? I'm not like that at all. At all. <laughs> but that was the first impression they got off me because of how I looked because of my my presence my look just had that intimidation factor to it and not that i was trying to be intimidating or anything like that but people that are aesthetic they look a certain way they have that certain look they're off rip you're categorizing them in a certain box you don't even know who they are but they're they just kind of um you're more prone to associate them with being stuck up or at least most people are doing that with people that look the way that I look, right? And and again, I'm not trying to be like I'm some special person or anything. It's just what humans do. This is just literally what humans do, right? You're a silent killer. Now, the reason why I put silent killer is because since you're introverted, you're more out the way. You're more kept to yourself. You're more mysterious, right? You know, people don't know what you're really about because you don't put yourself out there like that even now that obviously at my job listen i talk to everyone all my coworkers, we're all super tight we talk all day like it's a fun little crew to be honest like, everyone's just like awesome there i love it there because of the coworkers, because of the people i work with but even like for instance my manager tells me all the time she never knows what i'm thinking she never knows what i'm she can't read me in a way because I, I'm I talk with everyone and I'm I'm super when I'm at my job, I'm super socialized a lot. I talk, but then I can just go ghost and, and nothing happen. Not that I'm trying to do that, but that's just something that happens. And my manager never knows what I'm thinking or she can't read me. She tells me that all the time. She's like, I don't know what you're thinking. You just one minute you're like this, the next minute you're like that. It's hard to tell. And that's part of being a silent killer. You're mysterious. And that kind of is a good thing. You want to be, people don't even know, people can't figure out what you're doing. It adds a lore to you. It adds something like, I want to figure him out type of thing. Now this works, this is good in two because even, even in my relationship, I have a girlfriend. Sometimes she even tells me that. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know. And it's just like, it's not that I'm trying to do that. It's just part of it. It just adds to it, right? And honestly, if you're single, this is actually a good thing because it makes you more like just people want to figure you out. It's just what it is. Attraction. Men and women will be checking for you in different ways. Now, I put men and women because obviously men, when they see you, when they, they sense your aura, they see your... You're jacked, but you're not overly out there. You're not overly going crazy. You're not doing all this. You're more kept away. It, they want to see what you're about. They want to find out what's up with this dude. He looks a certain way, but he's kind of shy. He's introverted. What's up? I want to see where he's at. Now, this is why I say it's crucial for you to be jacked, to have body game or attraction is because when you're introverted, you don't put yourself out there. I've said this already. You don't put yourself out there, right? Or it's harder for you to actually put yourself out there. So if you don't put yourself out there and you don't have anything that draws people to you, no one's going to look at you. No one's going to care about you. No one's going to check for you because what is the marketing, right? When it comes to your look and body game, it's about marketing, basically. Shout out Jordan McLeod because that's a awesome way to put it is the marketing, right? What? are you selling it's basically your marketing is how you look because that's the first thing what people see they see how you look so if you look jack you look nice looks maxing you just look attractive you look appealing people are just automatically drawn to you men and women right men want to know what's up men see you there you dress nice you look good you're fit you're disciplined they're gonna see off rip they're gonna want to know what's this guy about my job I always use examples for my job because I'm always at my job. That's why I use these example guys. These examples. I'd have random customers always me. They always ask me the same thing. They're like, do you work out? 
<laughs> and, you know, obviously, I'm going to say yes. Sometimes I say, no, I don't work out. Just, <laughs> just to be funny. But yeah, so it's just a good conversation starter. Like I said, it, it's mostly them starting conversations with me. Unless I'm really trying to work on my social skills or something. And then I'll, I'll just talk about anything. But they always ask me, like, hey, do you work out? And I'm like, actually, I do this. Actually, I do that. Well, how about you guys? Whatever. So they want to see what you're about because... They they just want to know. You look different. You you have a different look to you. Most guys are not, let's be honest, most guys are not in shape. Most guys are are out of shape. Just go to your local Walmart, any, any store. Go to Dollar Tree, Walmart, Dollar General, Big Y, wherever. Just look around. Most people are in, aren't in shape. It, it, let's just be completely honest. Now, women will be checking for you. They will definitely be checking for you because you stand out. Like I just said, most guys are unattractive. Most guys are out of shape. Most guys don't take care of themselves. Most guys, they just don't, they just look crazy, bro. So you just automatically stand out. So when women see you, they're going to point it out. And I'm saying this because at my job, again, another example, at my job, every time a woman comes in they always say something about me 90 percent of the time and again i always say this but i have to record myself at my job so you guys can believe me because i'm not lying i'm not lying it just is what it is um, they always say something about me they're always like oh i really like your hair they give me a lot of compliments oh why aren't you modeling i said that in one of my previous videos some girl said i should be modeling in new york um, multiple women have said that. Um, video I mentioned some girl said I should be working at a trip club, if you know what I mean, add an S in front of it. Um, I'm going to talk about that more because she actually came back <laughs> yesterday, and that's a whole other thing that happened. <laughs> um, so that's going to happen, right? Um, no, really compliment you, all this stuff, and that's why you crucial for you to be jacked to have body game because again, when you're introverted, imagine if I wasn't put it to you this way i that i'm introverted i'm more i say to myself for the most part i like being out the way things like that but if i was out of shape or i just was skinny or you know did not have that I, you know i didn't look like anything i just looked whatever no looks maxing no body game no sort of physical presence do you really think they would be saying that no they wouldn't be saying that because one i don't even have a game so to speak because i'm introverted i'm not really talking like that i'm quiet i ha it just be like a hi what's the what are we doing today okay th that's it no convo no nothing but since my marketing isn't complete opposite meaning i have a good look to myself i'm physically attractive i'm physically my presence is felt i'm visually you can see <laughs> that i'm I, you see helps with being when you're introverted because like I said, people are drawn to you. This is going to do the same for men and women, right? Um, basically touch on every point here. You're visually more attractive. Therefore, people will be more comfortable around you. Now, this is true. People will be more comfortable around you because you feel you have this masculine, feminine sort of look to you. They feel more comfortable you uh, because you just look appealing. Once they find out that you're not some, like, person then they'll obviously be more comfortable with you because they see like oh, this guy's actually cool he's not this super like sub horrible just you know pure i don't want to say the word but you get the point right and that's what happened with me like i said before everyone thought i was going to be stuck up some but it's complete opposite from <laughs> that how i actually am right and now guys this is honestly when it comes to this whole looks maxing body game all the crap the most important thing is being comfortable with who you are. All we talk about, or at least I can't speak for every content creator, but what my main thing is, is upgrading your looks, upgrading your physical, physicality, your body game, things like that, and just being who you are. And you can improve on who you are. That doesn't mean change your, like, your identity, because at the end of the day, we are all individual beings. We all act different ways. Now... I um word. I encourage you to 
you know, employ, you know, skills like things that you can improve as your your identity that won't change your identity. It'll just enhance you. Like I was a you know guy that was in the corner and just tucked away. Like I want to change that. If that doesn't mean I'm faking my identity, that means I want to improve my social skills because I'm a freaking weirdo in the corner and I won't talk to anyone. Like, you know what I mean? So don't fake who you are, obviously. Be authentic, but just improve on social skills, social things that you want to get better at. That doesn't mean that you're faking yourself. That just means you want to get these certain skills. Anyways, last point is people judge a book by a cover. And I already know this video is about to be long as hell. This video is about to be a long one. I'm already 18 minutes in. Confidence. Conf Usually introverted people aren't confident. Now, I'm not talking about most, I'm not talking about all introverted people. I'm talking about most, you know, people are not confident, right? Because they don't put themselves out there. For example, me. I didn't say I was never not confident, but I'll put it to you this way. The confidence that I had before is nowhere near the confidence that I have now. You know what I'm saying? It just isn't, right? Because now, you know, I've been continue every single day to work on myself just improve myself, um, whether it's trying to speak better. That's another thing I've been really trying to work on is actually speaking better, is getting my points across better and just sounding just better. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to stop saying things like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm trying to stop all those. Vo <laughs> I'm trying to upgrade my vocabulary is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, you'll have more confidence automatically because First of all, you're going to have evidence to back it up, right? People are going to tell you that people are just going to tell you that you look better. So off rip, you're going to get compliments. You're going to get, like I said, people are going to be checking for you. People are just going to be more, more drawn to you and it's going to improve your confidence, it's going to increase it because when you're introverted, like I said, most of the time you're not confident. That's why you're not talking, but you see how it affects you because since you aren't confident base level, you're already not confident when you're introverted for the most part. By you not putting yourself out there, it's going to decrease the confidence be even more because you see like you're kind of like you're not existent. People don't even realize you're there half the time. People don't even pay attention to you because one, you don't have the look. You don't have any sort of presence at all. Not even your body, not your look, not nothing. And you don't even put yourself out there at all. So now there's like ghosts of yourself. You're a shell of yourself. So that's why being introverted and then you have this look to you, it's going to draw more people to you. It's going to improve your confidence. So then when people come to you and talk to you and actually start conversation with you, you're going to be more confident in your ability to speak with them. And obviously work, you shouldn't be afraid to talk to people. Like, you know, it's nerve wracking, things like that for introverted people and all that. But honestly, at the end of the day, it's just another person, bro. <laughs> like, not scary. It's, bro, it is what it is. Just, you got to learn how to communicate with people. And that's a skill in itself as well. You know what I mean? That is also a skill. Actually learning how to talk to people is a skill, believe it or not. Why do you think salesmen are so good at speaking? Because they know how to talk to you. They know what you, not what you want to hear, but the problem you have to solve. They get their point across good. They build a rapport with you because they're just good at speaking. That's why they are salesmen. They're trying to get you to get something that will inherently improve you or, or not. I mean, just be scamming you, <laughs> but you get the point. So let's go to the next slide, which is opportunities. Now you're going to be forced to open up. Like I said, since you're drawing more people in by your look and you're introverted, meaning you're going to be forced to talk to people because People are going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to check for you because of how you look, how you are, how you seem, your aura, all this stuff. Now, with the opportunities, I can tell you I've gotten plenty of opportunities now be just based off just how I look, bro. Like I said, the modeling. I've done a model shoot before. Small company. I'm not saying I model for Cla Calvin Klein or anything like that, even though that would be freaking awesome if I did. Or Young LA. I, that's what I really want to do too. I really want to model for fitness brands. Because I feel like I can. I have the physique. I have the look. You know what I mean? So that's... A, I'm going to be... You're going to see. I'm going to end up doing that. I'm going to do it, bro. I'm going to be up there with one of them. 
Um, any, but that's a side note. Anyways, you're going to be approached with opportunities. Like I said, I talked about this before multiple times. When the guy with the garden came up to me, he was like, yo, you look like you can, you look like you work out. I, matter of fact, I know you work out. Pull up to my spot. I got a garden. He was old. You know, he needs help moving the old bags because he had mad bags. He had, I don't even, this guy had so many bags. It was crazy when I showed up. Anyways, he was like, yo, I'm old as hell. I need help. Obviously, you can help me. Pull up. I got you. I'll pay you. This and that. I pulled up. Two hours of work, a hundred dollars, just like that. Um, it was just based off of how I looked. Now, if I was scrawny, if I was overweight or obese or fat, the man, he would not have asked me for help, bro. He wouldn't ask me for help. Why would I ask you for help? You don't look like you can help me. You're, you're asking for help. Like I was him, and I seen, and and you know, I'm him, and I'm looking at this person that's working there, and I need help, but he's skinny, you know, like a toothpick. But I need him to do something physical. Rather, I wouldn't even ask him for help because I'm not. He doesn't look like he works out. He, why would I ask him for help? I need him to do something physical. Now, if I see a guy that looks like he's a bodybuilder, that he's jacked, I'm going to ask him for help. Because he looks, uh, this guy obviously lifts. This guy obviously is physical. This guy obviously, you know, you can clearly tell. That's why I got that opportunity. If I didn't look like that, I would not have got this opportunity. And that's why I said right here, you will be approached with opportunities you otherwise would not have. Um, this even goes for interviews. This even goes for anything, bro. I'm telling you, interviews, new job, um, you're doing. Because you just stand out, bro. I'm telling you. Especially if you're not just like you're a beginner working out. I'm talking about when you're like, as day you can tell that this person works out. Like this person works out. You're vascular. You're cut. You can wear a shirt and you look big. Like, just look good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, clothing, you look fit. Um, Just, man, interviews I've been to, bro. I only got the job. I swear. I've only gotten these jobs because of how I presented myself. Not because of my resume. Because, to be honest, I have the worst resume of all time. The worst. Like, I, I my resume is so bad. Like... I matter of fact, I should show you guys how crappy my resume is, and <laughs> part of the reason why I even got this job is because of how I carry myself. Matter of fact, that's the only reason why I got this job. <laughs> if I'm being honest, uh, I don't want to air my business out there, but let's just say that I only got this job because someone who knew me recommended me and they seen they saw how I looked they my first impression was amazing like the only reason why I got this job guys it wasn't because my resume it wasn't because I'm this genius smart person the, like I had no ex zero experience my resume was horrible like because of jobs that I was only there for like months three that's how bad it was like that's what I'm saying it gives you opportunities but anyways, I'm going to go back to the, I don't even know if people are watching it this far, <laughs> to be honest. Probably everyone has gotten off this video <laughs> by now. I don't think anyone's here. But if you are here, bro, you're a real one. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below if you made it this far. Matter of fact, if you made it this far, comment down below Unchained. I really want to see who got here. I feel like I'm not going to get any comments because, let's be honest, I don't get that much views. And I also... People be, be the attention span nowadays is nothing. So I doubt anyone even made it this far. And to be honest, I didn't know this video was going to be this long. But this is the reason why you need to be, if you're introverted, you have to have body game. You have to have some sort of presence, dominant pre presence to you. Because if not, you're literally going to be, no one's going to know who you are. Because there's no marketing you don't put yourself out there. There's no allure to you. There's nothing. It's just a blank piece of paper. You're basically like a blank canvas. There's nothing going on. I don't, nothing draws my attention to you. But if I see that you're ripped, if I see that you're jacked, if I see that you just have this, like, we, it's like, and that's the good thing about being introvert too, because automatically you have the mysterious vibe coming to you because you're quiet. You're more reserved. You rather listen than speak. So you're 
off rip you have more of a mysterious type of thing and it just adds to it now imagine if you're ripped jack and you look handsome you look good you wear nice clothing you wear fitted clothing you just look look like you're a silent killer bro that's the point you're a silent killer you look good but people can't figure you out because you're introverted you're like this rambunctious crazy like hey guy like you know what i mean so anyways that's the crucial reasons this is why you, you it's crucial for you to be you know body game especially when you're introverted bro you have to have it and shout out to top tier man um davis if you guys don't know him he actually inspired me to make this video because I seen the title and I was like, oh my God, that's an awesome video idea. And I seen his video and I agree with pretty much everything he says because it's true. It's facts. So I think I say this in the beginning of the video because so he inspired me to make my own version of this video. And if you know him at all, he does sell cologne, guys. And I have his cologne, Charisma. Bro, buy the cologne. I'm trying to tell you guys that cologne is fire. And no, he didn't pay me to say this. I just bought it and it's fire. It's my daily cologne. Um, I have like two different kinds. Of, I actually ordered like brand new colognes that are coming in tomorrow. Um, spend money on cologne, guys. That's one of my things. I'm going to make a whole nother video on scent and do it like a more presentation type of thing. But I'm going to wrap this up because at this point, I'm just yapping, bro. So that's it for the video, guys. If you want coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, DM me Mac Method on IG. Everything's going to be linked below. Mac underscore method is my IG. DM me on uh, be Mac Method. Hop on a call. Show you what's up. Show you how it's, how basically it's ran. Um, Everything is. It's a three-month process, 90 days. And uh, you're pretty much it, guys. Unchained Society is out. Um, Still haven't uploaded the video. I'm going to get it out. <laughs> I am. It's just, yeah, it's been... I can't use this excuse. I'm not trying to make excuses, but for real, it's just been crazy busy, man. Um, it's a good thing. Honestly, it's good. So I'm not complaining. I'm not trying to make excuses, but the video will definitely be out by the end of this week. So Sunday, um, I get it out sooner than that, but it will be out. Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.